Welcome. Welcome. Episode 39. Ultra RC Hobby Show. Yes. He's Chris. He's Aaron. I am. You got it right like two <laughs> episodes, in a, row. episodes in a row. I'm kind of impressed. So we hit a kind of a milestone yeah. on the old uh, Facebook. So we hit 1,500 likes on the Ultra RC Whoa. Hobby Show. It's pretty good. I I'm very impressed. I want to say thank you to everybody uh, that you know hit that like button, yeah. has uh, commented on our post, has gave us a review, all that good stuff. So we really appreciate that. Um, so in honor of 1,500 likes, we're going to do a little bit of a giveaway. But that's going to be at the end of the show, seeing what's giving, being given away and uh, how to enter it. But uh, Chris was excited. I showed him some of the stuff and he was I was pumped. just sad that I couldn't enter. So you guys are pretty lucky. True. Yeah. He's not wrong. Anyway, totally different story. Let's get into it. Uh, tonight we're going to talk about um, some of the upgrades we're going to do to the uh, HP IRS4. Chris thinks it's not very good. Um, so he gave me a list of things to order and make it better. So make it more like his card. Then we're going to talk slightly about... better. No, it's not going to be better than his car, but we're going to make it's it slightly still gonna be better, much better than just yeah. an RTR. Oh, yeah. We're going to make uh, some real good improvements. HPI. He also got a new body for his car, so we're going to talk about some of the yeah. other cool things going down. Uh, and we might take you downstairs and uh, check out some drifting. So we'll see I know happens. about that. I do too. We did a whole bunch of changes to downstairs layout. Yeah, it's looking really nice. Yeah, yeah. so stay tuned and uh, let's get right into it. Talking about this guy first? Yeah, we can do that. Ready? Yeah. Three, two, one, go. Yeah, you're Aaron, going. I'm sick of this Ford body. <laughs> Show me something new. <laughs> Just like that. Okay, so we kind of got some new stuff coming in to the shop. We got a nice body for this guy. This is a Pandora Stage R, uh, or some people might know this as a R34 Stagia. Yeah. So this is a Skyline style body, but it's four doors and it's a wagon. Yeah. Yeah. Pretty so, cool cars. so we're gonna go with something a little bit more different. So it's gonna be a wagon Skyline R34. So why not? So Chris said Put the four bikes in the back and stuff. Oh, dude, it has roof rack. Oh, right on. Got roof strap rails. on the top. So yeah, we'll strap all your bikes and all your hardware on the roof, and Maybe. you know when you get all the kids and Linda and, and all the people, <laughs> you can just put more stuff in the back. Yeah. It makes total sense. So grocery getter body yep. for the old HPI. No, so this is still brush. Yeah, yeah. These tires, I don't know. They oh, these tires too. well, you are in luck. Oh, so, we have some new tires. Yeah, we got some DS Racing, um, the Phoenix LF3s. That's what kind of everyone's been running mm -hmm. downstairs. Um, so we got a whole bunch of different compounds of these in stock, uh, and we can also get some more. What are we wrapping them in? Okay, so those Phoenix LF3s are going to be wrapped in a set of MST changeables. Ooh, um, so, so gold. what does it what does it mean when when it says changeable? You can change your offsets. So depending on which body you run, you need to run a different width rim to make it fit properly. So the MST rims are nice, so you can actually change the offset before you put the rim together, glue it in place, and then your offsets are set. Yeah, so you're not struggling when you exactly. order wheels and tires, or wheels, I guess, sorry, yeah. to be like, oh, do I need a three or do I need a five? Especially with funds. a car like this, because the front and rear from factory are different offsets. So yeah. it's gonna be different for this car. And this body is actually yeah. a different width. So this is 195 millimeters in width versus the HPI body, which was a 200. So we're gonna have to go in a little. Yeah. So that's what it means by changeable. That's that's pretty cool. Yeah. I didn't know that. MST also includes a nice set of uh, red aluminum wheel nuts in there. Nice. nice. So it's kind of cool. Oh, something else for that body. This is kind of the tail light and the headlight bezels, so we can put that uh, in the front and rear. You so with the sweet drip lights in it. Yeah. Flashing lights and everything. Yep. Okay. Another thing. Chris says my alignment was junk. So we yes. ordered a set of GPM uh, turnbuckle kits. That'll be your uppers, uh, steering knuckles, yep. uh, or sorry, tie rods, and, the rear, camera and camera. rear camera links. So we got those from GPM. And those look really nice too. Yeah, they should be a instead hardened of, steel. Yeah, instead of using like a wrench, they actually just drill a hole in the arm. So you just use like a pin or a rod to turn them. Correct. So we got that. And if we're gonna go to the extent of actually starting to do wheel alignments and other fun stuff, we are gonna drop in one of these full aluminum cased JX servos. So yeah, this is, servo. yeah, at six volts, this will do 120 volts, or 120 volts. Dang, that's a high power that's servo. A lot of volts. Yeah, sorry, 120 ounces and 0 0.09. So not but, strong, but fast. Yeah, for a but, like this, that's all you need. Hey, but if we run it on 8.4 volts, yeah, we're looking at one. 
164 ounces Ooh. and uh, yeah 0. 0.6 for speed Dang. so this is a full aluminum case high voltage JX servo so this is uh, quite quite a fancy little unit quite a fancy little rig um, so we're gonna pop that in there too and uh, I guess last but not least we're gonna do something fancy with some Ya Racing magnetic body mounts as well. Get rid of those silly body pins. Yeah, so there's gonna be no holes holding this body on. So essentially what happens is the mount itself goes right on to the body post, and then you can adjust your angle and height uh, without having to drill holes in your body. Then you exclude the other magnet that's included to your body. Yeah. Make sure you get them in the proper location, and uh, then you're pretty much good to go. And the body just lifts off, and. Unless you get tapped really hard, then it just flies off. So yeah, if you guys uh, have any questions, I'm gonna put links in below um, for some mm -hmm. of this stuff um, so you can check it out. So over the next couple weeks, you'll uh, be seeing a little bit of a segment just uh, showing what we've been doing. So probably the first thing we'll do is uh, wrap the wheels and tires and uh, get that body mounted with the mounts and then the servo and just go from there. So we'll kind of do it week by week by week. Yeah. Uh, you guys can watch the process of this thing getting kind of pimped out is it was not a thing back in if, the day like pimp my ride i'd prefer a drift status drift status <laughs> not a parking lot basher not a parking lot basher yeah so the old hpi she's gonna get a little bit of an upgrade so remember this is an hpi rs4 sport 3 so uh it's gonna be fun interesting to see how this thing takes mm. shape i'm really excited yeah but now the question is chris what color do we paint that body that's like, a good one like do we do bayside blue or do we do silver or, in Chris's case, we should just paint red. red. <laughs> we already got the, the gold wheels, so it no, kind of matches. No, blue or even like a pearl white would look really nice. You gotta remember, it's called gold wheels. Pearl white. Pearl white? You could do like the the skylines that came in that nurse spec with the brown. Ooh. The kind of like beige. I like that. That would look really nice. So yeah, this thing's gonna get some transformation here in the next little bit. So make sure you stay tuned uh, and watch the transformation of... What are we gonna call it? We gotta call it something. We call all your builds something, right? You have the new DR. Yeah. You're gonna call this uh, Grandma's Grocery Getter. <laughs> Grandma Aaron. Grandma. Aaron. Can we call it Grandpa's Grocery Getter then? Grandpa's Grocery Getter. <laughs> all right. Grandpa's Drift Missile. Grandpa's Drift Missile. There yeah, we go. That's, that's gonna be the hashtag for this yeah. build. Grandpa's Drift Missile. There okay. we go. <laughs> oh. She'll skid. She'll slide. She's got sliding skids. Okay, so now, this is the fun part. Get to talk about a giveaway. Giving something away? What are we giving away, Aaron? Lots of stuff, we're giving Ooh. lots of stuff away. Okay, so we got uh, something donated to us from our good friends at High Performance Distributors. So a huge thank you to Chris, Dan, and Caroline. Yes, thank you. Thank you guys so much. Um, so the big, big, big prize we're gonna be giving away is, bum, ba, da, bum! Oh, you wanna bring it up? Yeah. Oh, it's right here. So this is the limited edition. TRX4 Adventure Body. So this is all hand painted by Traxxas. Has your clear windows. This is a actual Land Rover trademarked color. Yes. This is the 110 year anniversary of Land Rover. Uh, and it gets all your good stuff for your TRX4. So to win this body in particular, we want to see pictures of your TRX4 Defender. Out on the trail. Out on the trails doing stuff. That's what we're gonna give this one away. So this is the grand prize. This is like a $220 body. Um, so we'll be giving this away. And again, thank you High Performance Distributors um, for donating that to us. We're gonna be giving away some puzzles. So let's just scroll those along here. So these are brought to you by Puzzle Master here in Saskatoon. Um, so thank you guys so much uh, for donating some puzzles. This one's like, called the Silent E. We got a whole bunch of stuff. Like, a bunch of puzzles. Fantastic Five. Once okay. again, Iron Maiden. Yeah, so I'll do this row. The Mosquito, Infinity, the Jester, the Silent E, as Chris said, Beetlebug. And we got the Fantastic Five, the Iron Maiden, another Beetlebug, the Annihilator, and another Beetlebug. Annihilator. I kind of win the Annihilator because it sounds like <laughs> so, freaking like cool. Like it'll be Annihilated. So to get entered to win these puzzles, uh, you just got to throw a uh, comment down on the video. Uh, and that's it. And then we have two $25 Ultra RC Hobbies gift cards you can also win, which all you gotta do is like and comment to win one of those. Yeah. But there's a skill testing question in that comment. Ooh. So the skill testing question is, 
what does Chris do in every single video? So this is gonna test all you people that actually watch the video every week. I think I've done it in pretty much every episode. There was maybe one episode that I didn't, but in pretty much majority. every other episode, you'll see it. Yeah, so what, so this, again, the skill testing question is, what does Chris do in every single video? You gotta put like the Jeopardy song in there. Besides do, be do, strange. Do, do. Yeah, well. That just comes with the territory. That just comes with the territory. <laughs> <laughs> so that is how you get entered to win all these awesome prizes. So again, thank you, High Performance Distributors. Yeah, I'm super pumped that we're giving away that body. I'm also really jealous. Yeah, that's gonna be a sweet prize. Uh, remember to get entered in to win that guy. Mm -hmm. uh, throw a post about um, your TRX4 on the trails. Puzzle Master Saskatoon, thank you all so much again for more of these sweet prizes, all those sweet puzzles. And yeah, Ultra C Obby's a gift card. Thanks. What is this? <laughs> Thanks for uh, joining us for episode 39. Make sure you <laughs> like, comment, and subscribe. Don't forget to share with all your friends on Facebook. Yes. Don't forget to check out our Instagram account, Ultra RC Don't forget to check out our Snapchat account, Ultra RC Hobby. You can follow me at RCD if you want. Yeah, he's pretty cool to follow. He even had his own channel at one time on the old YouTube. It's still there, it's just not very, very exciting. Not anymore. very active. Nah, eh, fair enough. But no, thank you again for watching. Thank you for everyone that hit that like button on Facebook. Yeah. To get us over that 1500 mark. 1500. Yeah. That's awesome. Yeah. It's crazy. Yeah. We're like we're like popular and such. Yeah, yeah. I would such. go that far. Yeah, I'll say <laughs> such. Such. We're such. <laughs> Thanks again. We will see you on the next one. Bye.